they're hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name. Hey yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the name. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about success. That's right. The pure determination and obsession that you must have in order to guarantee success. Can you guarantee success? Absolutely. You are guaranteed to reach some level of success so long as you're determined and you obsess over it. It doesn't matter what the field is. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do. You will receive some level of success. It doesn't matter if you're trying to be a basketball player. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're trying to be an accountant, doesn't matter if you're trying to be a lawyer or a doctor, as long as you're determined and you obsess over it, you will reach some level of success. It doesn't, I'm not saying that you're going to be uh, the best basketball player in the world or even that you're going to make it into the NBA. Maybe you just end up coaching a little league ba basketball team or uh, maybe you end up being an announcer uh, of, of basketball games or something like that, but you will receive some level of success in that field so long as you're determined and you obsess over it. Understand what I'm saying? This may sound a bit controversial, but I am not necessarily subscribed to the concept of karma. I do not necessarily believe in karma, but what I do believe in is energy. I believe that if you continue to put energy into something, you will eventually get something back. It may not be the same level of energy that you put into it. Uh, maybe you put in a lot of energy, you get a little bit back. But I do believe that if you continue to put energy into something, you will receive something back from it. And it could be a business that you started 10 years ago that you dumped every ounce of your life into and the business was still unsuccessful. And you could not continue to put finances, energy, your life on hold to uh, continue that business. And so you move on from it and you maybe you go get a job or maybe you start a different business, but you did, you put so much energy into it 10 years ago that every now and then somebody contacts you and say, hey, are you still in the lawn mowing business? Hey, are you still in the trucking business? Hey, are you still in the real estate business? Because I heard that you know, you used to do this or somebody referred me to you. The energy trickles back to you. No matter what it is, it happens. All right. So now there's this guy that I met once and it it blew my mind. All right. I'm going to tell you, this is just crazy. So I'm, I'm in the Air Force. I'm a young airman and I meet this full bird colonel. He's a doctor, right? Dr. Moise. So Dr. Moise is from Miami, Florida, and uh, he calls me over one day and he says, hey, I'm running for I'm running for Congress. I think he's running for Congress. He was running for Congress at the time. He's like, hey, I'm running for Congress. I want you to check out my bio and tell me like what you think about it. So I'm reading this guy's bio and I'm looking at his stuff. I'm like, oh, my God, this guy is not just a full bird colonel. And I knew he was a doctor because he was a doctor for the Air Force at the time. But full bird colonel, which is right up under Brigadier General. At the time, I'm like a staff sergeant or airman or something like that. So uh, th this guy is a full bird colonel, which definitely meant he was a doctor. Well, not that he was a doctor, but he had spent a lot of time in the Air Force. But then he was also a doctor. So I'm like, wow, this guy's a doctor, Air Force. But as I'm reading his bio, I find out that he was also a lawyer. This guy is a doctor and a lawyer. What? So he was a doctor, a lawyer, a full bird colonel, and, and check this out. He was a movie star. He was actually like was a movie star, right? Like he was a movie star in Miami. Like he has movies like, he was the love interest of Vivica Fox, but it's like a movie star. On top of that, he's an immigrant. He's from Haiti. Right. So he wasn't even born in the United States. Right. So he was he was an immigrant from Haiti. He was a, a full bird colonel. He was a doctor. He was a lawyer. He was then also running for Congress, running for Congress. And and he was an ambassador for Haiti. That's right. The president of Haiti or whoever's over Haiti deemed him to be an ambassador for Haiti. So this, so now he wasn't an old man. He wasn't like 
80 years old, 70 years old. It's because a doctor, a lawyer, um, a, a movie star, uh, a Congress, or running for Congress, a full bird colonel in the United States Air Force, flight surgeon at that, um, and also an ambassador. Did I already mention that one? I don't know. I mean, did I in that group when I was reading that? I don't know. But the point is that this guy had the same amount of time in a day as you and I. That's right. He t he went to law school, went to medical school, had to study to take the, um, uh, the, the medical license to become a doctor. He had to study to pass the board. He was also in the Air Force, which they see him everywhere. So he was also going on humanitarian assignments to places like Haiti and other places like that. He was running for Congress and he was shooting movies all at the same time. What are you doing with yourself? Okay. I'm telling you that if you just focused on one thing, it doesn't have to, like this guy was doing a lot of things. If you focus on one thing, now he's of course, he's clearly an exceptional, uh, has exceptional intellect. But even if you just focused on one thing, why can't you get that associate's degree? Why can't you get that bachelor's degree in IT? Why can't you get that master's degree? You just focus on one thing at a time. Just tell you if you do one thing at a time you will be successful um, as long as you obsess and you're determined to be that imagine coming to this country as a child and accomplishing all of these things and donating large sums of money to or being able to donate large sums of money to help people which he was also a very charitable individual anyway shout out to you uh daughter colonel and uh uh, lawyer, Miss uh, Doctor Moise, uh, shout out to you, big bro. And um, you know, it's 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 a pleasure to meet people like you who inspire people like me. Because you know, at the time I didn't have a degree, I didn't think college was even for me. You know, I was I'm from the hood, so you know, my my mindset at the time was not the most expanded. But he opened my eyes to seeing so many other possibilities, and it was just to like look over some stuff that he was doing. And I was just like, whoa, I, I couldn't believe that he was just in there chilling, like, you know, down to earth, chill, you know, and I'm kicking it with an ambassador one-on-one, -on -one. like, this crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and especially at the time, my, my mindset was not one of, uh, <laughs> was not one that was very expanded at the time. Um, anyway, right now you're watching Casino as the name. Share this video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. Their hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino as a name.